my name is Monique. If you're new to my channel, I upload videos weekly about style and travel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd like to take the time and subscribe. This and don't forget to like and share this video. It will really help the growth of my channel. So I'm in a new setup today. I figure I'd try this corner for today. So I hope it's okay and I hope it's not blurry because last time for some reason my video was blurry and I was on and on and on talking about sample sale and it was blurry and I had to cut so much of it. Let me know your opinion about this corner in the comment section down below. So for today's video, I have a huge haul from one brand. It's a brand that I have liked for so long. It's from Yoji Yamamoto. If you are not familiar with Yoji Yamamoto, he is a Japanese designer and he is considered more like an avant-garde in terms of his design and he uses mainly the color black. He started his line in the 80s and his first line is actually Wise. Um, y apostrophe S before he started his other main line which is Yoji Yamamoto so both Yoji Yamamoto and Y's lines they're both are available at higher end department stores and they also have flagship stores in Paris and I think also Japan so Yoji started his Y's uh, line in the 80s and it was a women's wear line but it was mostly inspired by men's wear that is what I love about Yoji is that a lot of his pieces are actually unisex and you kind of wonder is this men's, is this women's, it doesn't really matter because if it looks good on you, just get it. I love men's wear more. I'm actually wearing a men's shirt from the row. I just don't like the way they cut women's shirts. I think it's unflattering at all and it's not the look that I'm going for. Also being in New York, I feel like it's been affecting me in a way that I do wear more black nowadays. A lot of people in New York wear black. It's very Rick Owens, Comme des Garçons, Yoji Yamamoto kind of vibe here. So it's like pull everyone in New York have their own personal styles and there's like these groups of people with you know with similar styles like the people who wear black all the time the people who are more like into like the Carrie Bradshaw, Sex in the City type of vibe you know wearing colors and all these influencers especially during fashion week you know with all the colors and the feathers and the textures um, and also there's also like people who are really just into neutrals so like you know beige and white and all that me personally I happen to like all these three styles so sometimes it all depends on my mood and also depends on where I am like when I was in Kenya I was dressing a little bit more neutral more like basics and now that I'm back here I find myself wanting to try different textures different patterns different prints but also wanting to wear a lot more black because yes it is just easy to wear black and black doesn't have to be boring you can play with textures you can play with different design that's what UOG does best I think his very avant-garde pieces are so beautiful and yet also so wearable and these pieces because they're well made and made with like beautiful fabrics they last for years I only have like two three pieces from Yoji and they're one of my favorites and I cherish them so when I found out that there is a one-day sample sale for Yoji Yamamoto I had to go. I, ju I just had to go. So it has the Yoji Yamamoto Wise line and also the Y3 which is the collaboration with Adidas. So I went there yesterday and, and I scored. The line was insane. I will insert clips from the sample sale. It was insane line. It was three blocks long. It was the longest line I've ever been. I'm glad I went because I get a few staple pieces, pieces that will go with so many things. I'll try them on and show you on my very cloudy mirror so you can see how they look like. Let's move on with the haul. So I have these two big bags. 
I'm gonna start with the accessories and then go with the shoes. So for accessories, I mainly just get the hats. Uh, I didn't get a bag. The Y3 has specific price range, you know, like beanie for 35, t-shirt for 40, things like that. But the Ys and the Yoji Yamamoto, they have all 80% off. So let's start with the hats. First one is this Y3 hat in yellow. This is for the husband. He requested this yellow one because all his um, hats are black and dark colors. So yeah, so we went with yellow. I think it's really cute color and it's really cute like for uh, golf or you know any outdoor sports because he does a lot of like um, golf and tennis. Next I get this Y3 bucket hat. It is black and then it says y3 on this side but i don't know if you can see the light is really bad here all the hats they're uh unisex they're one size so you can adjust so there's this string in the back that you can adjust there was this beautiful green one that i was thinking about but i went with black instead because i think it's safe and i can wear it in the winter with any outfits and i don't have a black bucket hat Next, I have the Y3 beanies. So I have the black and then the gray, and then I get an extra black because I was thinking one for me and one for the husband, and we can't really share a beanie because sometimes maybe both of us want to wear beanies and black in, in the black one. So it just goes like that. I think it's cute. It's a very basic like beanie, uh, but what I like about it is that it's 100% wool. So it's going to keep me warm and I like that the colors are basic enough. It, they go with everything. So those are all the hats that I got. Let's move on with the shoes. First one, we have Y3 and this is for the husband. I got a pair of sneakers. This is the Y3 Shiku run. So it's just a pair of the white ones. I think these are very great for everyday casual walking around the city. He doesn't have a pair of white sneakers and I think that's a very good staple to have. I don't, they don't have sneakers in my size anymore so I didn't get any sneakers from them. Next is a pair of sandals for me from Wise. I've been wanting like a good staple of sandals for the summer. I really wanted the Marnie ones uh, with a strap in the back. But yeah, those those doesn't really go on sale on sale so much when it's like the neutral color. I still love the Marnie ones though, so hopefully one day I'll get them. Uh, but in the meantime, I have the Wise uh, sandals. These are in leather and rubber bottoms and it has a little bit of a height. It, it's one of those that looks like a mom sandals but not quite, you know, like this whole trend with the ugly sandals and the dad sandals. I always love chunky, ugly looking sandals. Um, yeah, so I love these. And it has this buckle, it makes it adjustable. It has a cross stitch, all stitching around it, which makes it more interesting. I love the buckle, it's beautiful. It is thick, but because it's rubber bottom, it's really light, so it's really comfortable to wear. Uh, Yoji, like Comme des Garçons, for shoes, they use uh, Japanese sizing. For, so for reference, I'm usually a 36 and a half or six and a half, seven. This is size two in Yoji sizing. Now let's go to the most exciting part, the clothes. I've been really looking for a pair of jeans, but I I think I'm kind of influenced by TikTok and Gen Z. I kind of agree that sometimes skinny jeans can really date you and make you look older, especially nowadays. So I've been struggling to find jeans that are flattering actually. So I got two pairs of jeans from the Wise uh, from Yoji. First pair is this one. It reminds me of this old of this pair of Comme des Garçons jeans that I got, the Comme des Garçons Junior Watanabe, which had like a really uh, stiff denim, that's why I didn't like it. This one is nice and soft, it has this very interesting design, um, and it has this pleat also, which makes it really interesting, and it's like one of these like uh, flare kind of uh, bottoms, 
not the skinny one. It's high-waisted, it's comfortable. I'll try it on so you can see it. And I love the fact that um, his jeans are shorter. I don't have to do any any adjustment with the hem. Uh, I love the length, I think it's great. I love when it's like right at the ankle so you can still wear flats and sandals. So because I really like the fit of his jeans, I got one in gray. Uh, I don't have any jeans in gray. This one was also, I think, flattering for my body type. I love it. And that's the thing about his clothes. I think his clothes are very flattering because it's more like a looser fit and it's not really like hugging the body. That's what I like about it. I love the fact that he's consistent. He's always done like black. He's always done this, you know, asymmetrical, this beautiful, interesting design and more avant-garde. Even though, you know, in the 80s, everyone was like doing crazy colors, but he's just stick to what he loves to do. It's like pieces you cherish, pieces you keep for a long time in your collection. So the next pair of pants uh, is for the husband. It's this, uh, from this line, uh, from the Yoji Yamamoto Korom collection, which is the men's line, but it fits me as well, so if I want to wear it, I can. It's this beautiful wool jogger. It has elastic on the bottom and elastic waist pockets in the back, an interesting uh, pocket as well, kind of like a cargo pocket here on the right side. Next is, I don't know how to show you. It's kind of like a shrug, kind of like a blanket style. Um, and it's asymmetrical, it has only one sleeve. It has like this um, buttons that you can adjust to make whatever style you want. It is cotton, but it's kind of like that fleece material that makes it so warm and cozy. I love it. Last but not least, uh, is this cotton uh, coat it's kind of like that kind of like art teacher chic slash painter type of like cotton lab coat style uh, great for spring great for warm fall days if you layer with like maybe cashmere or wool sweaters inside so those are the pieces that I got from the Yoji Yamamoto sample sale I I'm glad I went it is just as incredible as that Comme des Garçons sample sale that I went years ago. Um, that one was huge and that one is like, that one doesn't happen every every year. It doesn't even happen every two, two years or every five years. It's like happens in a blue moon. So this Yoji Yamamoto is also one of those sample sales that happens in a blue moon. I'm so glad that I was able to go and score these beautiful pieces that I would wear for a long time and they go with everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not the typical brand that you usually see on YouTube. I don't see a lot of like Yoji Yamamoto haul. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Hi guys, I just want to show you the fit of the clothes that I bought from the Yoji Yamamoto sample sale. Let me hide this tag. Are you with are you like me guys? I don't take off a tag until I wear something for the first time. So here are the pair of jeans that I showed you earlier. Um, see see how they're like flared and they're like um, very like very interesting on the knee and I love that about it. And pardon my smudge mirror guys like I tried to clean my mirror before making this video and I ended up just smudging it everywhere. I was panicking actually, it was crazy. So here we have the gray pair. This one is slightly shorter. I love it, it's very casual. I love the pocket. It's super high-waisted but really comfortable in Yoji. So he's also like, please, please, his sizing is like Japanese sizes. Um, so I'm in the size two, I love this. It's really good with sandals, really good with heels, whatever you want to wear. So here is the cotton uh, coat. Perfect for spring. I love it. I love this big pocket. It has also uh, pockets on the side. 
it's really like oversized but like the arms the sleeves are fitted uh, but the bottoms are oversized it's a great length okay so this is the asymmetrical um, shrug that I was trying to show you as you can see uh, let me sh let me see if I can show you guys so it has this sleeve on the right side but no sleeves on the left you can do whatever you want with the left side and it just goes like this it's really cozy I love it it's like in patchworks it's so beautiful um, I wish you could see it better I'm doing such a horrible job showing you so I thought I'd show you the jogger as well that I bought from my husband see how it is also unisex in my opinion and it's 100% wool so this is perfect for winter love it so that's all the yoji I got from the sample sale. Thanks for watching guys.